since the start of the Alliance Trust account, the portfolio has done has done well. It's outperformed its benchmark. I would say that it's off to a good start, um, and we're pleased with the performance. We've made some changes to the portfolio over the course of the last year. We've sold a company that ended up being acquired. Um, so we, uh, we removed it from the portfolio after it was acquired. We sold another company out of the portfolio because the stock had uh, gone up quite significantly and the valuation had become a lot less attractive. Um, and we have sold another company that was actually a disappointment. In terms of where we reallocated the capital, it's gone into companies that, in our view, have presented opportunities in the marketplace where we have high conviction in the, the earnings and cash flow growth and the valuation opportunity, in our view, presented um, a, an interesting entry point from a long-term perspective. So we've added uh, four companies to the portfolio to take advantage of what we felt were good opportunities. In terms of how the environment has influenced the performance uh, since the inception, I'd say there's been two sort of cross currents. On the one hand, growth has outperformed value, and so clearly that's been a tailwind for the, uh, for the portfolio, given the fact that we are growth managers. On the other hand, the market has been driven by momentum uh, and perhaps more aggressive growth strategies, and that tends to be uh, a bit of a headwind for the portfolio in that we tend to be very conservative by nature. We invest in companies over the long term that are not the momentum type companies that seem to be very much in fashion in today's market environment. And that we're pleased with the performance given those two cross currents. It's actually not been challenging at all to manage uh, this portfolio. It really has enabled us to focus on our best ideas. All of our portfolios are concentrated by nature. All of our portfolios have high active share. Uh, the one difference in managing the Alliance Trust portfolio is that we are mindful of the board's need for a little bit of income, and so we are factoring that into our stock selection process, uh, but we are very enthusiastic about managing this type of portfolio. So we do a lot of due diligence on the companies that we invest in. We have an entire team that is focused on doing research on those businesses. And we do it a little bit differently in that we have two analysts following every company. And that really allows us to focus deeply on the businesses, to understand not just the company itself, but the ecosystem that the company operates in, the region it operates in, the geopolitical environment that it is part of, to really have a good sense um, about the trajectory over the long term of the earnings and cash flows of that business relative to its competitors and relative to the environment it competes in. I think it's two things. One, it is the concentrated nature of the portfolio. It really is the ability to select what you consider to be your best ideas over the long term. And the second is part and parcel of our investment approach, which is to look further than most managers and to make long-term investment decisions almost from the perspective of owners of businesses as opposed to renters of shares. And that really enables you to benefit from the compounding of cash flows that the companies generate. Now, you have to be very selective obviously in the types of businesses that you invest in but once you've identified the right types of businesses simply being patient with those investments allow that compounding to work and uh, to work for your clients and that leads to higher returns over time Volatility historically has been a good uh, tailwind for the portfolio in that it offers more opportunities. Over the course of the recent volatility, the portfolio has performed well. So far this year, the portfolio has, um, has exceeded the benchmark. Um, and we really do think that as we move further into 2018 and into 2019, we're likely to see more volatility. I would say that the recent volatility has been quite short-lived, um, so we do believe we will see more volatility over time, and as always is the case with our approach, we are ready to take advantage of those opportunities through the filter of our longer time horizon.